A Call of Duty style zombie shooter, but with NFTs and play to earn. There's our first zombie, let's go. Oh, okay, I'm already getting attacked from behind. Sounds like a wonderful idea to me and Undead Blocks is bringing this to life. Today they gave me Luke Plays to Earn a chance to try out the game, so here's a sneak peek into some of their footage of Undead Blocks. All right, everybody, let's jump into Undead Blocks. I'm flying into this blind. I've never played this before. I want to know what it feels like when any gamer comes into this game for the first time. All right, so we got our beta key going here and it's looking pretty cool. I already see some challenges. Looks like they got a friends list in game, which is pretty cool. You know, that's kind of the best part of these games is teaming up with your friends to kill some zombies. Got some different weapons here to choose from. It looks like some of them are locked up. So eventually maybe we could unlock them. We got the SMG, we got some handguns, shotguns, assault rifle all ready to go. These things are looking pretty sweet. I'm liking the graphics so far. I'm liking the looks of everything that I see. That baseball bat with the <laughs> the nail spikes that's pretty slick and the wave gun that reminds me of playing call of duty zombies when you get the little laser finally and you're just murdering a bunch of zombies so that should be yeah uh 99 damage 99 range looks like it's gonna be pretty similar then it looks like we got different survivors to pick from between jasper eva lucas and mask and since my name is luke of course we gotta go with lucas here all right so it looks like we're gonna have four different game modes a solo which is the beta we're gonna have squads which again i think that's gonna be the key of this game is it's so much more fun playing a wave zombie game with a squad which with a team of friends especially over voice comms all right we are readied up and good to go let's jump into it baby let's kill some zombies Okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> look at the sensitivity. Okay, we're gonna need to switch this. <laughs> All right, that's a little more smooth here. Okay, let's see if we can go find some zombies. We got our knife, if we wanna knife some zombies. And then we got a measly old pistol here. I don't know if we can pick up loot, but there's our first zombie, let's go. Oh, okay, I'm already getting attacked from behind. That's not cool, that's not cool. Where'd you come from? Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> oh, no, help me. Already this many zombies? This is wave one. I'm just trying to get into the game. Okay, let's try the knife. Oh, okay. This is not going well for me. Okay, but it looks like if I just move backwards, I can't really be hit. <laughs> Feels a little cheap to do this, but, uh, you know, do what you gotta do. Okay, for some reason, the mouse wheel isn't letting me switch weapons, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, maybe they'll add that later on. That would be a good piece of feedback. Okay, please. Can I just get, like, a, a moment of peace and quiet? That's all I want. We should also look up if, if there is a knife button here instead of switching back and forth, you know. I'd rather have to be able to have my weapon with me and then just pull out my knife when needed rather than having to actually switch to it. So let's see. All right, I'm not seeing any button to do that. So that would be uh, another piece of feedback is if uh, we can just get a knife button instead of having to switch to the knife. I would appreciate that. We're already pretty low on ammo. So let's see if we can go find. Oh, here's a reload station. To spend some XP there to get. Hello? New round, fresh meat. Did I, did I get anything from that? It didn't look like it gave me more ammo. <laughs> Very confused. Okay, we're out of ammo. What do we do? <laughs> we got 12 shots left. Make them, make them useful. Headshots only. Oh gosh. This is not gonna go well for us, I can just tell you right now. I'm so scared. It looks like we do heal up though, so that's kind of nice. Is like if we're gonna die soon, we can just try to get out of the way there. Please vending machine, please vending machine. I just want you to work. I don't want to be with only a knife. Purchase quick reload perk. Oh, that's just a perk. Where do I find ammo then? And this is why they probably will need to put in tutorials into this game. Oh gosh, okay, that guy did like 60 damage to me in one shot, one hit. Maybe they drop ammo. Is there like a, a perk they drop? Maybe it's like you get all your ammo back. Kind of like in Call of Duty, isn't that the way? To, I haven't played, uh, oh gosh, I might just die here anyways. I haven't played zombies for quite some time. I will say though, I do like the look and feel so far for a beta but yeah i'm kind of just uh freaking out here this guy's got this little pitchfork here that's gonna kill me and i have nothing to do besides knife all of these guys 
over and over and over. There we go. We died and we earned. Hey, look at that. 1,075 Z-Bucks, which I'm assuming in beta doesn't mean anything. But we still got them. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do a take two. See if we can <laughs> apply anything we learned here. I'll just kind of explore the map. Let's see how high we can jump. Can't get up on that bus. Oh, hello. Hello, good sir. Oh, is that some ammo? Hey, refill ammo. I found it. I found it. Look at this little box. <laughs> if I wasn't trying to jump on that bus, I probably would have never seen that. That was kind of lucky. <laughs> okay, so now we know we can get more ammo. We can actually use our pistol and not be too afraid of wasting it. Also looks like headshots do triple damage, so landing some headshots, or just completely missing. Uh, looks like the move here. So, so far the combat feels pretty smooth. I will say the zombie hits seem a little bit slow, but those guys at the pitchforks were a lot harder to dodge. Those guys at the slow are pretty easy just to knife and back off, but these fools, a little more difficult there. I'm also wondering if we do get more weapons, or I know as NFTs you can purchase different kinds of weapons, so I wonder for the beta, do we only get pistols? Or did I just not equip? So we'll have to try that, see if we can find any weapons, or maybe uh, go back to the main menu and pick a different one. So some of these zombies are getting very quick, I feel like. And let's see, how far can we shoot here? So it looks like our damage falls off a little bit. It looks like even if I'm not moving, my cursor does move a little bit, so you kind of have to be careful in how you aim. And then in moving, the aim gets a little bit worse. Not like CSGO worse, but it does get slightly less accurate when moving. Okay, I'm just going to have to uh, hope that I can hit no scope. Oh my gosh, there's way too many of these guys. What the heck? Guys, guys, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Settle down, boys. Settle down. Okay, also it looks like you can upgrade your weapons with your Z-Bucks, which is cool. I think in the beta it's not saving my Z-Bucks, but that's nice that you can upgrade your weapons, get more powerful over time. And I think for the beta, it maybe it isn't letting me here. Let's see. Looks like I'm back to the pistol. Let's see if we can find any other perks or upgrades, maybe, that we just haven't seen on the map yet. Oh, another refill of ammo right there. Good to know, good to know. Hello everyone, Luke of the future here to butt into this video. I had a feeling that our blind gameplay test was a little bit of a failure, that we were missing something. So I jumped in the Discord, they pointed me to gameplay on YouTube, and I actually learned. We can grab other weapons off of walls, and we can unlock new areas even in the beta right now. So let's jump back into the game, a new round, this time actually using some shotguns, some AKs, and seeing if we can explore the rest of the map. Let's try it out. All right, so you can see here, similar to Call of Duty, they do have weapons that we can grab off the walls once we do have XP. I was just blind, but again, as the full release comes out, it would be nice to have a little bit of tutorial or instructions in game. It is a little bit frustrating when you have to go to YouTube to find these things out or to discords. Maybe you could argue I was just blind and I could have figured it out over time, but it would be nice to see a little more help in game and i'm sure they'll do that once the game is more fully released well let's see if we can go grab some better weapons this time around shall we all right so i believe we have enough xp already to grab the shotgun so let's try the sucker out how powerful is it oh okay some instant kills there <laughs> i love the instant kill it only has two shots though so you know if there's too many around me the shotgun oh that guy didn't die oh, okay see this is what i'm talking about all right let's see if we can get a huge wave of zombies just lined up for our ak to mow them all down see how powerful this sucker is Ooh, let's kill some zombies a decent amount of speed on this thing and some damage okay this thing is popping off let's see if we can go inside this house there is a door i saw in the video here we go I'm not sure why would we want to trap ourselves inside. That doesn't seem very safe. 
But maybe there's some extra weapons or perks in here we can find. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Diet Sprint. <laughs> the speed perk. Let's see. We don't have enough XP for that, but that would be very handy to have some extra speed. Can't go up there yet. But here we go. This is why I'm a little bit worried about being in here. Oh, gosh. That actually creeped me out right there. Oh, shoot, they're coming behind me. Where were they spawning from inside the house? That's not fair. All right, so let's take everything we just learned about this game. I also had my camera flip the wrong way, so we fixed that. Let's see how far we can get into this game. Maybe we can even get double digits. Can we make it to round 10? All right, round one, let's try to use knives only so we can save as much ammo and XP we can get here. I think we're going to skip the shotgun. Let's just go straight for the AK. That seemed to work better for us anyways. So let's grab our diet sprint. Oh, and there's another door down here. So what is down here? Oh, come into my dungeon. Come here, my zombies. Is there any cool weapons or anything in here? Some cool neon lights, I guess. 1970s party. Oh, weapon armory. Okay. So let's see. I don't know if we'll get attacked here, but it looks like we can trade out for some other weapons we have unlocked here. MP5. Ooh, look how fast we can sprint with that bonus. It's like I'm almost moving too fast now. Aim's going to be a little bit harder. But it does make them easier to kite out for sure. We're just kind of stepping backwards and shooting. Looks like the F1 is more expensive, but less damage. I want to try it out though. Let's try that out first. Let's see, where'd you go? Where'd you go? How do you like this one? Ooh, 209 damage for a headshot. Now we talking, now we talking. Round 10 seems possible now. I'm gonna eat those words later, but I'll say it now. Let's go back to our AK, spray him down maybe as we walk through. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many zombies is this? This is just round five? Oh my gosh, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, not fine, not fine. Didn't see that guy on my side, didn't see him. Reloads pretty easily. All right, let's leave that one again and see if there's anything last little bit that we missed. Let's see if we can go grab the upgraded AK as well. We have 5,000 XP going into round six. Let's see, can we go upstairs? Is there a way? I don't think so, it's being blocked. Uh. Game developers, you might want to fix that. I'm looking into the sky here. <laughs> I think that's meant to be a ceiling. Just gonna guess that one. All right, let's go AKM, even though it's level one. See if we can redouble up on the sprint perk. Nope, already purchased. Let's just, uh... I don't... I don't know why I didn't kill him. I was just staring. I'm like tapping, like thinking he was going to die. Not really. <laughs> I just died to one freaking zombie. I'm going to eat those words later, but I'll say it now. So there was my initial gameplay take part one and part two. I hope that was helpful in deciding if you like undead blocks and want to get into this project. For me, I did have fun. I think the gameplay looks good enough. The gameplay feels smooth and there is enough variety if you have enough unlocked weapons. Add in the ability to play with your friends and I think that will be really engaging. Now I do have some questions for the team, so hopefully we can grab an interview with them sometime soon because I'd like to know their thoughts about the longevity of this game and project. To me, something like Call of Duty Zombies is a game that you laugh for a while with your friends and you come back for a challenge and it's a lot of fun, but it's something that I don't think that many people actually play each and every day. So I wanna sit down with the team and ask them what is some variety they can add to the game? How many new maps there's gonna be? How many new weapons, different hordes, different maybe battle passes or season challenges? Ways to make the game fun to return to every single day so that it doesn't become stale. I'm also curious to hear more about their free to rent model where you can rent for free these weapons and split the earnings with the owner of the NFT. How effective is that gonna be? Is there going to be enough NFTs to rent for free? Because I think if you start out with a pistol and a knife only, and it takes a while to earn enough Z-Bucks to unlock other upgrades or other weapons, 
Playing just with the pistol, as you saw in the first part of this gameplay video, wasn't nearly as fun. You know, what makes this game fun is that you upgrade your weapons as you grow, go through these different waves. And so I think that is going to be an important piece of their game to get right, is how do you get enough weapons for everybody and make sure that the NFTs actually have value to them. So hopefully we can pick the brains of the team, see what I did there, and get an interview with them here shortly. Also, if you're looking for more action 3D NFT games, go check out Ascenders. I know it's not a shooter, but the research we did on it, I think will make you really excited for that game as well. For now, peace out, Palam. Adios, everyone, and have a great day.